favorite German numbers actually. Yeah. Boom. Boom. It's really fun to say. Yeah. Boom. Mm -hmm. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome to the vlog. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and with the little alert icon so you can see our videos all month. We're going to do one every day starting with our advent calendar, our wine advent calendar from Aldi. We are very excited. Um, and I also realized I forgot to explain that <laughs> we only had one our tree's not finished. We only had one strand of lights. Yeah. I forgot to ex like explain yesterday why it looks so sad. So we well, will get to see it get decorated. And just the slowly throughout the vlog. By yeah. the end, maybe it will be fully decorated. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Started as a pile of branches, and then it'll slowly grow to a great decorated tree. Yes. So I'm waiting for my lights to come in that I ordered. <laughs> So eventually, hopefully in like a day or two, it'll have more lights and then ornaments actually on it. Mm -hmm. But then I have to figure out what ornaments to put on so our two-year-old doesn't break everything. Yes. So, you know, it's a process. But anyways, day five, wine advent calendar, here we go. All right, I day five is like right here. Yeah, at the top. That's easy enough. All right, what do we got? Yep, it's right here. <laughs> Don't even have to get up. Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, a Pinot Noir. Mm. Oh, uh, wow, that looks good. Who's it by? Is it Bordeaux? Is it from Bordeaux? It's Bourgogne. Bourgogne. Not Bordeaux, Bourgogne. I don't know where that is. It's another French wine. <laughs> so many good French wines. I assumed. It's 2018. There's no tasting notes on the back. It literally just says red wine. They really kicked it off well with that first red. I'm so used to doing like really hefty pours that I gotta remember. Like, yeah, I know. These are kind of like... I gotta remember they're like half pours. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a half pour. It's like a three-quarter pour. It's like two three-quarter glasses. It's a half pour. <laughs> For what uh, I mean, like what a normal, I usually, normal what I restaurant, usually drink yeah, over maybe here. like for a normal pour for us, but like for a restaurant pour. Oh yeah, like... no, no, no. I'm talking about for like my home pour after a yeah. long day with Zoe. It's a half pour. Yeah, but for like a restaurant pour, it's like a three quarter pour, I think. Yeah, but I'm not at a restaurant. You're smelling. Oh, I'm okay. Hmm, I definitely think I'm gonna like that first one better. I say I'm not sure about this one. Zoom bowl. Prost. Mm, that was a better sound. Okay. Oh, that's actually good. Yeah. You don't like it? It's okay. I think I'm, I mean, I like the previous one better, but this is also good. I like it better than the rosé yesterday. Because it was, yeah. I love rosés, so yeah. I was all on board about the rosé, but it was a pretty average rosé. Yeah. This is definitely a higher quality wine. This is an is average one? red. Yeah. But I wouldn't sure. turn my nose up at it at like a party. No, yeah. That's if I was at a restaurant it. and I paid like $25 for this bottle of wine, mm -hmm. I'd be pretty mad. Mm -hmm. If I paid 10 though, yeah. I could be like, I'd pay $10 for it's this. It's like a solid $12 bottle of wine, yeah. I think. I don't know if I'd go over that. Yeah. Definitely better than, I think it's like, because Dave, what is it? Was it Dave, the two day out there. Day two was, day no, two was day one. The, the champagne wasn't very good. Yeah. And the, it was the same brand though. Both of them were the same brand. I know that JP guy. I'm just not sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just not sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has good legs though. Yes, it does. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm gonna drink it. Yeah, definitely. I'd be pretty hard pressed though to find a wine that I'm not gonna finish yeah. <laughs> off in <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Mm -hmm. So far, we've been on an adventure with the wine calendar. I'm definitely glad we got it. I think it's really fun. Oh yeah. So I'm also, well, we're like 50-50 now. I would say we're like 50-50 at, at versus like good versus bottles oh, okay. that I would pay for like, like $5 okay. or $10 for. Yeah. Not even the first, the two JPs are like. I know, I'm sorry, JP. JP Chenet. Mm, no. Stop knocking him. We're going to get a nasty letter in the mail. I mean, we tell it like it is on this vlog. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat I it. I can't, you did a head bob with that. I can't take you seriously right now. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave you with that note, and we are going to jump into today's vlog. Cheers. Cheers. All right, guys. Happy Vlogmas. I got a tree, and we don't have a car because Derek has it at work, and it's big. So I'm dragging it the, like, 15 blocks to my house. Luckily, I don't have Zoe. Ann is watching Zoe, but check this out. It's my tree.
people who don't have a car do. This is a nightmare. I'm out of breath. I'm really working for this tree. Uh. It's here. A sweater was a bad choice. I'm dead. Uh. I've never put one of these together before, so it should be pretty interesting. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too hard. <laughs> where they clip in so I'm not really sure how you know I'm just gonna go by size I guess the purple and the brown look very similar I don't I get let's just go for it hopefully it looks like a tree by then there is colors okay there is colors so this is is gray okay it's gray so reds up here okay good that makes a lot more sense So the, okay, the gray ones. Ha! Ah, okay. Wow. We've got this. We've got it. tree than I thought it was. It looks smaller in the store. It's big. on you can't see as much of the gaps and the fake fake tree business back here but I love it it's huge <laughs> and a little well maybe not too precarious we'll just have to make sure that the cat doesn't climb it but it should be okay there's not much space for her to sleep under it which is her favorite so maybe I'll have to bend some branches so she has a little sleeping spot for real she's already under underneath find your spot? Do you 
you live here now? Okay guys, well it's been a couple days um, and I forgot to explain that I we only had one light strand. Um, when I, I thought we had a lot more, but no, only one German one. So I got these, I ordered them and I had to wait for them to come in. Um, see that right there. They're like, they're like little fireworks. So I'm really excited. Um, I got the really big one. So hopefully I only need the one strand. So let's see what it looks like. Let's go for it. Oh, 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 oh. that's bright. Yes. <laughs> So beautiful they had it just like lightly wrapped around like a garland and it was so pretty and this is not as pretty um, but we're gonna go with it it's gonna be fine I think once I get some ornaments on and everything it's gonna be it's gonna be all good and I'm sure I'll keep messing with it you know you never stop tweaking so I'm gonna go get a couple ornaments I'm gonna figure out what is toddler proof and what is not because we've already experienced one broken ornament this morning so I'm gonna figure out what we can actually put on this tree and I'll show you a couple of my like favorite childhood ornaments and a couple of like maybe my favorite adult ornaments. So it might be pretty sparse this year um, because I really like to buy glass ornaments apparently. Um, so we don't have a lot to put on the tree, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Just less things for her to take off and the cat to knock down anyways. So. Is a Hallmark ornament. I got it for Derek a long time ago. It's a little beer stein because he lived in Germany when he was 16 and I thought it was so cute and then who knew we'd be living in Germany again. Well me for the first time but him for the second time and it'd be even more special. <laughs> so that one and then um, this is Zoe's first baby ornament. So precious and it has her name and then, y'all, she weighed 9 pounds, 13 ounces when she was born. And I will never forget that, but just seeing it on here, it's nuts. She was huge. Huge. Ate a lot of cake when I was pregnant. <laughs> um, and then another one of my, this was my favorite ornament when I was a little kid. Hang on a second. There it is. This one right here, the little Crayola mouse. I think he's so precious, his little Crayola sled. And my parents had a special um, ornament turner that like spun the ornament around and around. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to get one of those because I always remembered watching this. These ones are for Zoe. You'll actually, I'll just show you the box because these are actually in our advent calendar for her to um, put on the tree. So they're just every year I started with 2017, the year she was born and I just get the cozy critters line. But I started this when she was little and I just took a whole bunch of our smaller ornaments um, and put them in each of the advent calendar bags, um, which I'll show you during our home tour, for her to then take out every day and put on the tree instead of a chocolate. There's chocolate in there for Derek and I, but a little ornament for her. And then this one, Derek and I got the day we got engaged. It's a you know you're from Michigan if, and it has a lot of has a lot of fun things like you know how to play euchre, you've had frostbite and sunburn in the same week, driving from coast to coast means from Port Huron to Muskegon, you used <laughs> you used your hand to identify your hometown, and you go up north for the weekend. So Derek and I, the weekend we got engaged, um, we went away for a trip to Frankenmuth in Michigan and it's like this little like Christmas town. Um, they have the largest Christmas store I think in America. Um, so I, I bought us this and our stockings and I didn't get us a engagement one because we weren't engaged yet. <laughs> and then Derek proposed by saying, maybe we should go back and get that engaged ornament. And I not catching on was like, we're not engaged. Why would we buy that? 
just like hungry and annoyed <laughs> and he was like uh hello like so then he got down on one knee and like proposed but I was like, oh my god, okay, clever, and I didn't get it at all. So we bought, we bought this one and then got engaged later. Yeah, those are those are just a couple of my favorite ornaments. I mean, we have we have other ones, a lot of like ones from my childhood and stuff like that on here. Um, but there's a lot I didn't want to risk. I think I actually even left some of them with my mom um, at home because I didn't want to risk anything happening to them. And so I'm not putting on anything at all that can be breakable. So like this is going away i just want to show it to you guys because if like the cat knocks this tree over or zoe knocks it over i would be just heartbroken if any of those broke so do you guys have a favorite ornament or a favorite like childhood memory from an ornament like with my crayola mouse <laughs> um i'd love 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 to hear about your guys's favorite ornaments in the bottom or a favorite memory from decorating the tree I just, it brings back so many childhood memories for me and I absolutely love it. And I can't wait till Zoe's a little bit older <laughs> so we can spend the evening decorating trees. Um, I am looking forward, like I said, to those tiny ornaments in the advent calendar for her and helping her put those on the tree. So I think that'll be really sweet and I think they're probably going to all end up right here on the bottom in the same spot. But hey, whatever. I'm going to end up being like my mom and just moving ornaments around after the kids go to bed. <laughs> Alright guys, if you liked this video and want to see more, definitely a vlogmas, make sure and hit that subscribe button, turn on those alerts, and follow us on Instagram and Snapchat for more of our adventures. We love sharing them with you guys, and I love hearing from you guys, and we will catch you guys tomorrow.